here is some integration project. The first step is just to rename the files here. Just change the file names for the Excel and the PowerPoint. After that, open Excel. So after downloading, you should be able to see your name here. If you don't see your name, delete this file and start over. So edit workbook. So what we are trying to do is uh, edit this file so that it would look like, so basically you're trying to produce something like this. So after renaming the files, the first task is to change the worksheet into department analysis. Make sure there is no space here. So that task number one A, and then after that, we want to unfreeze the first columns. As you can see, the first two columns are frozen right now. To unfreeze, go to view, freeze, unfreeze. So now if I move, it's not frozen anymore. So that's done. Task number two, format and insert. So we want to format the title here. That is, this is B and this is B1, this entire thing. Go to styles, drop here and then click. And then we want to add a border to it for this text. To add a border, click here, borders, more borders, and then select the, the fifth style here. One, two, three, four, five. Select this one and then select the border color to be lime ascent to. So this is lime ascent to. And then after that, to activate the border, just click here. When you do that, this will turn on and then say OK. Now we added this border. Next, task number 2C, enter the date here. Seven twenty nine twenty four. Task number two D. We want to change this format on this part and the number, and then click on this one, the first one. Okay. Merge and center range A four to A nine. A four and a9 means this and then click here merge and center basically what we are trying to do is to make it consistent with all these three other parts we also want to rotate the text to rotate the text go here click and rotate um, something like uh, this c we also need to change the field color so go to colors Lime Ascent to 60%. So this is Lime Ascent 80%, 60%. So also middle aligned. Now it is middle aligned too. Task number 3E is to make this part out of fit the column because this is now taking a lot of space. To do that, go to Format column width, out of it column width. So this would shrink this part. Now that is done. Save your work. That's number four. From C5 to F5 and C9 to F9 apply accounting number format. So this is C. So this is C5. So, so from C5 to F5 is this part. The number format is general right now. We want to change into accounting. So click on more number formats and accounting and then click OK. Do the same thing for C9 to F9 to F9. Select this more number formats, accounting. OK. Now when we do that, it became like a dollar sign. Now it's accounting number format. Task number four B is we want to copy this format into this table. To do that, copy the range B5 to H9. So this is B5 to H9. So 
because that is the style we want to copy so click here when we do this it will change like that and our cursor changes and come here and then select the same part for for the projected revenue table and we select from b20 h24 so when we do that it will immediately copy the style of the previous the quarterly revenue table so that is done in the range h5 to i5 we want to do some calculations now we want to calculate the total right so we just equal sum and then click on this formula and enter the range c5 to f5 enter and after that we want to copy the formula without formatting the cell h5 to the range h6 switch so we calculated this and we want to copy the formula we say copy and then select this range from h6 to h9 and then right click paste so we have paste options uh, paste paste values paste formula so the third option fx when we do that it will just copy the formula without copying the format so that is done Set the work now task number 5c go to i5 here's i here's i5 then equals enter h5 over dollar sign h dollar sign 9 so this is absolute reference so if you use dollar sign it will be absolute reference and we will be copying this formula like before copy and select the range i6 to i9 so this is i6 to i9 select this range and then paste the formula the third option then it will calculate the remaining numbers if we don't use the absolute reference it's going to give us error here select from i5 to i9 and then go to this number part and then it's percentage right and we want to show one more decimal place now it will show more precision right after that task number six we want to calculate the average the maximum and the minimum enter use the formula average this one double click and c5 to f5 enter and then after that we just copy the formula just like we did before right just say copy and select this range and paste formula the third option also the same way calculate the maximum so double click also the range is c5 to f5 enter copy and then select this range no k6 to k9 we want to paste the formula so the third option also the minimum same way equals minimum double click the range is c5 to f5 enter and now we want to copy the formula copy and paste formula the third option now this is done now we do task number seven task number seven is about conditional formatting like when this is when a specific number here is greater than 230 we want to show a different color so c9 to f9 we select this range and then go to conditional formatting here on the home tab go to conditional formatting and highlight sales greater than so you do this um, the number has to be 230 so if you are mac user it will not show you this dollar sign it's okay if you are on windows uh, just don't remove the dollar sign if you are a mac user don't 
uh, enter manually enter this dollar sign otherwise it would not work and then select the color option green fill with dark green text so select this and then say okay so this would immediately change this color and also do the same thing same thing for c24 to f24 so here is c24 f24 want to change this conditional formatting again highlight color greater than so when the number is greater than 250k it's gonna change into dark green green fill with dark green text so as you can see it will change that so that's task number seven task number eight so go to c12 here is c and here is c12 as you can see we have only one level here quarter one we also want to finish up the table with other labs. So copy this, paste, 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 and then change this to quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. So that is done. So in cell number C13, we want to do conditional calculation here. Enter a formula here. So Let's say equals if and double click and now we write some logic so if the cell line is greater than 230 dollars 230k do this c9 times 0 0.20 otherwise we'll do another calculation c9 times 0 0.15 we need to copy the formula so for the next three quarters we want to copy this formula right we simply copy and then select these three rings and paste formula one two three so when you would when we do that it will generate this visualization here now that is done this is task number 8d c15 now we want to do bonus calculation the formula is uh, equals c13 minus c14 times dollar sign c dollar sign 16 this is absolute reference so that would give us 16,000 so that the number is correct now we want to copy this formula to d15 to f15 right so this is d15 to f15 so we also want to copy this net bonus to the next quarters paste formula the third option so that's it now task number nine we also want to show uh, spark lines visualization just like this one insert line and then now we enter the data range c5 c5 to f9 then enter ok now it will enter the spark lines next apply dark green spark line as and tree we need to add a style to it so select this so dark green as and tree so that the third one 50 percent so use the third option here so it will change the color so that it will be similar with this one so if you work G24. So here we are seeing bars, but we want to change it to line, right? Go to insert tab and then click on line. And it's asking me for range right now. Um, so for the range, enter C20, F24. Yeah, that is our range C20, F24. Now it's gonna give us this visualization change that uh, two into the third style here one two three so that it should be consistent with the rest of the graph right and then save it step 10 we want to change this click click over h24 this number 
click on data and then we do what if analysis here goal seek to value enter 1 million here six zeros by changing cell c28 basically what we are saying is what value this has to be in order for a project to driven to become 1 million if you click ok this becomes 1 million and this number changes to 8.8 .8. task number 11 now we create some visualizations to do that okay select b for this to f8 ef28 and we want to create clustered column chart so go to insert and here column chart 2d select this option uh, so we created the chart we want to move this chart into a new sheet so what do we do is click not on the on the picture on the content or anything but just on somewhere on the edge and then move move chart so create a new sheet and then enter name to be revenue chart and then okay so this would immediately create a new sheet here and then we need to drag and move it next here so that is done so we need to do some formatting of this visualization the chart title has to be revenue by department so after doing that change the number format of the vertical axis so we want to change this format this formatting of the number format so if you click here you will select the vertical axis and to change the number format go to axis options so click on axis options and then click on number and then we change the number format into so right now our decimal is showing two decimal places we want to change into zero we don't want to show any decimal places and the symbol is a dollar symbol which is fine which is done already and then we want to add a vertical axis title so go to add axis primary primary vertical so this is added axis title and the axis title is ribbon it's uppercase and then we want to change this to make it uh, vertical right so double click on that text and then click on title options so click on title options and then select this part size and properties and from here vertical alignment uh, we're not changing that change the text direction so we change the text direction to stacked so this would make it like vertical there so save this and close it so the first task yeah, access uh, in excel is done